This one chart proves the dollar will crash. Are you ready? Can you handle the truth? Let's look at it here. So we're going to go to the Federal Reserve uh, from St. Louis, the FRED, the Federal Reserve Economic Data, the charts that they have, which is just freaking fantastic. Love it. So check this out. Now, as you can see, federal debt, total public debt. And we can see, look, antsy, wincy, little spider. Look at that. $368 billion of total federal debt. But look at that jump right there. Holy crap, holy, look at that. Look at that big jump in federal debt. I mean, that's definitely going to crash a dollar, is it not? Yes, it will. It will. Add CPI, Consumer Price Index for CPIU, essentially is all-encompassing way you measure inflation. And again, we've told a million times here, inflation, how they measure it, silly, but we're going to go with it. Ready? Let's click on this. So here in the black is the amount of federal debt spending. Look at that huge jump. And here's a C what, what, CPI. This is on a monthly basis, by the way. So here we got 19 uh 70 right there 19 august 1973 cpi went up by almost two percent in one month look at that and look at that amount of debt i mean my goodness they were spending like freaking drunken sailors these drunken sailors well, that's just wrong that's just wrong look at all that debt they're pre they're accumulating in august of 2000 1973 they had um right there uh how much debt do they have right there about let me give me the debt anyway, right there. About four hundred sixty billion dollars, and look at that CPI. Don't you see? Don't you see? M two deficits. The total debt leaves the CPI change incredible. That dollar crashed. It crashed right there. Then we go here. Look at this dollar crashing with all that debt. Well, well, well CPI was nothing in June of two thousand eleven. Thirty one basis points in August of two thousand eleven. But look at all that. Oh, wait. Right there, the highest it was is uh, 0.82 in June of 2009. And then, what, 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 what? okay, yeah, that's kind of weird, isn't it? Let's go back to actually to, we'll make this 1975. Let's just go to 1975 and show you. Because remember, this is when the huge inflation was. And obviously, remember, the black is a government spending. And here's a huge inflation. So here's a percent change by month, by the way. And yet the government spending is going up, but not nearly to the extent of the increase that we had in the aughts. Kind of weird. And yet inflation was going nuts. Huh. So was it the government spending that was causing inflation? I mean, look, look at this. From 1975, the black is government spending. We had 500 million in debt in the 1980. We had... Uh, what do we got there in debt? We got, uh, tell me the debt, man. 1.06 uh, trillion. So we had 500 million that we doubled in debt from 1975 to 1980. That's obviously the CPI going through the roof. Uh, how dare you? I'm looking at that. That's a monthly change. I grant you, monthly change. Hmm. Let's go to, let's go to 1982. Watch this. You want to see something fun? 1982. You want to have some fun with this because all you, Ronald Reagan. I look, I like Reagan. We needed him, but uh, let's just let's just be real here, shall we? To 1990. Let's just be real here. 1990. We'll go to January 1990. We'll say edit graph. All right. And what you're going to see is a spending. This is the debt now. It went from one trillion dollars in 1982. Yeah, 1982. I don't know why it says 1950 there. It's 1982. So don't worry about these numbers down here. Oh, I see what it's doing. It's kind of giving. Ah, that's pretty cool. It's actually saying this is what we're using a snapshot. Oh, that's pretty cool. They got that. So this right here is a snapshot of that right there. All right. So anyway, in 1982, we had $1 trillion in federal debt. By the time Reagan got out, we had all of $3 trillion. So we tripled the, and that was in, you know, the beginning of Bush, essentially. We tripled the federal debt from Reagan. And yet, look at CPI. Look at that CPI. Not much. I mean, it's just flat. Flat. Isn't that crazy? Hmm. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Yes, it is. So how come there was no inflation? I say no inflation, a little bit inflation. But when the debt was going through the roof. Now let's go back. We're going to make this max. All right. There we go. And people, and let's go to this right here. Make this 1966 to make it even, Stephen. There we go. And people will always look at. Well, hey, let's make another bit of, let's make that 2023. There we go. 
blink and we'll make it is right there. All right. So people say, but look at that, Josh, look at that. That absolutely led to the increase in CPI. And I, I'm just going to tell you, it didn't. Here's, look, you can see our, and I think they can even do a trend line here. Let me check. Download it. I'm not going to do that. To do a trend line. You can download all this stuff. It's fantastic. Download right there. Anyway, so here's our debt going from basically right here. There's a black. This is our debt. The, the, the left axis is the debt. 1966, we had uh, $121 billion in debt. 19, uh, 2023, we got whatever that is, $36 trillion or $33 trillion of debt, something like that. Uh, right there, hold on a sec, let me get that. Yeah, 29, blink, blink, right there. $32 trillion in debt. Here we got you know, $6 trillion, $6 billion. Give me a second. Oh, there we go. Federal debt, 370 billion. There we go. We had, there we go, 360. I guess it's only doing, all right, the three only does by the quarter. The other CPI is by the month. This is by the quarter. That's what's confusing. 350 in 1968. 330 in 1967. 320 in 1966. We've gone from 320 to freaking $32 trillion. $320 billion to $32 trillion. And look at the trend line. This is a trend line for CPI, this right here. You can definitely see it's going down, down. Look at that. And yet, but Josh, don't you see that big jump? I already showed you another big jump. So let's get rid of CPI. I mean, you can see we've had massive increases of federal debt and not massive increases in inflation. If federal debt cause inflation, then why does inflation keep going? The trend line is going to the south. It just doesn't make sense. Can federal debt cause a little bit of a, a push to inflation? Sure, 100%. And my federal debt, I'm talking to without question. But there had... I mean, the federal debt hasn't gone away, and yet the inflation just keeps going down. We have, you know, cases of a couple months every now and again, but other than that, it's just gone. And you cannot say the inflation in the 1970s is related to federal debt. You just can't. Federal spending, you can't say that. The highest inflation we've ever had in the United States from 1966 to 1982 is not because of federal spending. You just simply can't say that. Because look at the amount of debt that has increased. From 1970, we went from, let me get it here. $370 billion of debt to 1980. We went from 370 to right there, 877. Basically quadruple, uh, qu tripling of debt, 100%. And mass inflation. 1982, we went from Reagan, $1 trillion of debt to 1990. We went to $3.3 trillion of debt. More than a, a tripling, more than tripling. And yet we didn't have that inflation. Uh, 19, 2000, we went from, let's see here, 2000, we had $5.6 trillion of debt. And then 2010, we had right there, $14 trillion in debt. Again, a tripling. And there wasn't any inflation in the odds. So here we went from, uh, let's see, under Trump, we had right there, $22 trillion of debt until now we got $33 trillion of debt. I mean, an increase of 50% over the last five years. And we have a little bit of inflation here. Yeah, it's, it's happening, not lying to you, but it's not because of the government printing. It's not it's just the idea that this is proof of the government, the dollar crashing. It's just so, so it's just silly. It's silly. We want to look at M2. Let's look at M2. We'll get rid of CPI and we'll look at M2. So let's go to edit graph. Let's get rid of uh, CPI. Actually, let me, before I do that, I just want, oh, I just always got to show you this. This is just the federal debt. This is what everyone focuses on. It folks right there. Look at that jump. But again, if we put this back to 2010, and let's do 20, let's do 2010. There we go. You see, I see big, see, this is what we were talking. I was, I was talking about this back then. I was talking about this back then. All right. If we go to max and we're going to. Look, it doesn't look as big now, does it? Oh, but this is even bigger, is it? Let's go to logging this, as I always told you. You're going to go to log this sucker, and you're going to see. It just does not look. It's a blip. It's a blip. So federal government debt caused inflation. Where the hell has inflation been? It's so frustrating. 
I mean, people literally are making horrible mistakes in their money because they're like, ah, like this talk, the last stream last night, a guy was talking about, I'm, I'm not buying money markets, I'm buying gold. That's the only place I can pre preserve my wealth. I'm like, wow, okay. You can't trade gold. Well, I can trade gold. Okay, good luck buying a freaking piece of pizza with gold. Good luck with that. Good luck with even silver. Let's be realistic here, man. Cash is king because cash can be trans acted easily i can buy this bag of potato chips with cash i can't buy that bag of potato chips with silver good luck going to Publix. here's my silver ounces they're gonna be like oh, we take cash or credit should you have some silver and gold sure should you have all your silver and gold i mean all your money markets and silver and gold no that's silly oh don't do that all right so let's look at m1 or uh, m2 right, let's go to add line m i wonder if they can give us m2 here we go uh let's go to right there what do we want let's take a look m2 and data series we're going to put that on the right for the edit lines edit line two i think that's what we want make one edit line two I want, oh i got format there we go i want that to be on the right edit line two. there we go line two all right sweet yeah, there we go. So here's M2. So here's the debt. Here's M2. M2 is just the amount of money that's in circulation. All right. So you can see it's, it tracks pretty thoroughly, does it not? Yes, it does. M2 is gone in terms of debt. Remember, the debt is just accumulation of the deficits we've had. So here's M2 dropping. Right? I mean, it's just, if we actually, let's get rid of, uh, I, uh, let's get rid of M1. I mean, let's get rid of this right here. We're going to get rid of the debt. Edit line one right there. We're just going to look at M2, the amount of literally liquidity that's in circulation. And you're going to see, oh my goodness, look at that liquidity in circulation. And we're going to go back to here, we'll go back to 2010. I right, have the question so if, if federal debt led to mass destruction of wealth, then have we not had federal debt for as long as I've been alive? Yes. Where has it been the mass destruction of wealth? It hasn't happened. Why now all of a sudden? So here we go to uh, 2000. Here's the M2 right there. A big jump in there. Yep. Now let's just go back to max. And M2 is being reduced. And then if we log it again. We're going to log this. And we're going to format. Log it right there. And it, it just, it's a blip. It's just a blip. So all that debt is still out there. And yet the federal dollar is still, you can still buy groceries with the, with the thing. It hasn't crashed. I mean, send me your crashing trash for sure. Lastly, let's look at, I wonder if it gives us the, uh, the deficits. And let's go to deficit. I'm not sure if it does or not. But yes, there we go. Let's see if it does that. Let's see what we got. Probably want to get rid of, uh, let me pause it. So here's the federal deficits. All right, so let's go, we go back to 1901. We had no deficit. We had a little bit during the wars, uh, a little bit during the wars. And then we started taking on big deficits. Now, again, this is in dollar, millions of dollars, all right? And, and what's happening here is a deficit. Actually, let's add, let's add to the debt, too. Let's add a line here. We're going to add to uh, uh, debt, uh, federal tool. There we go. All right, perfect. That'd be nice. We'll make that on the right-hand side. Uh, format edit line two we want that on the right there we go all right so you can see here as the federal deficits grow as the deficits grow the debt grows you see and the debt you see the deficits is negative i mean this is the baseline this is when we had a little bit of a surplus in the late 90s because the republican congress but deficits 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 so look at this guy right here q3 2020 under trump by the way a federal deficit of freaking three trillion dollars and even here under sniffy joe bo jaden federal deficit of uh what is it here uh 1.3 trillion dollars but we've had deficits look at that but it was only 1.3 trillion back then that is a debt that's a deficit that was a debt right there 1.3 trillion the deficit is 127 billion under 1982 under look at so deficit look at all these deficits under reagan Huge deficits, and here's the debt. So you can't just look at the massive amount of debt. You got to look at in terms of the deficit relative to the debt. You can't compare the two. So in this case, we had 149 
billion in 1987 of deficits and a debt that was uh, $2.431 uh, trillion. I, I'm not going to be able to do that number off the top of my head, but here we have a debt that's $33 trillion and a deficit that's freaking $2.7 trillion. You see what I'm saying? I mean, so, so again, I just say we've had my whole life. My whole, I was born in 1970. My whole life we've had deficits. We had debt. Deficits add to the debt. Deficits add to the debt. And yet again, if we go to CPI, we're going to look at edit graph. I mean, you just, you can't, I get, I guess people say, well, it's got to get, at some point it's going to pray. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I get it, man. At some point, we all die. In the long run, we're all dead. That's just a fact. So we're going to edit graph, and we're going to add CPI, uh, super price index CPI. And I think it was this guy right there. Anyway, we're going to for urban right there. And then we're going to get rid of line two, line one, which would be the whatever line that was of debt. We're just going to add CPI. All right. So over the course of my life, we're going to edit this. To make it for the percent change right there and we're gonna make that format we're gonna make that on the left there we go all right so the course of my life we've had debts as far as the eye can see I mean deficits as far as the eye. every single year except for two or three during the Republican Congress of the late 90s we had massive amounts of deficits adding to massive amounts of debt and then here's the CPI and where is the trend line uh, just at some point, you got to say, where's all that debt? It hasn't filtered in to a crashing dollar. It hasn't. Oh, but Josh, how much these costs? When I was a kid, let's see, when I was a kid, these costs, you know, four bucks, four seventy nine, four seventy nine. When I was a kid, I could buy them for a buck, yeah. That's a crashing dollar, okay. So send me your crashing dollars then. You know what I'm saying? Because how much more money do you have now than when you were a kid? Again, it's always go back to it. It's like you have more money. You do. That's just a fact. And I'm not saying there's not inflation. I'm just saying the idea the dollar is going to – people hear this like, oh, you say there's no inflation. No, I'm just saying this idea the dollar is going to crash. It's freaking silly, man. I'm absolutely not saying there's no inflation. But the crashing dollar phenomenon that everyone just seems to glom onto, and I'm going to buy you know, freaking bread and bullets and butter and bullets or something like that, and I'm going to buy – I'll buy metal, you know, rifle rounds, you know, two, two, three, and friggin' gold and silver. I'm like, I mean, do by all means do that, but you still need dollar bills to transact, and the dollar bills just simply haven't crashed. They haven't. You have more dollars for which you can use to buy this. Has there been perpetual inflation? Yes, a crap, not even close to a crash. It's just so friggin' silly. I mean, these guys on my YouTube channel, and I mean, they're probably bots, but I'm like, holy crap. Are you? They're like, I'm really worried about the crashing dollar. It's like, what's going to cause it? The debt. It didn't cause up to this point. We got $35 trillion. Why would it cause it now? Ugh, it's kind of like Tom Cowan says, Dr. Tom Cowan. So basically, your, your artery was clogged 93%. That didn't kill you. But if it clogged 94%, it would. So when you're walking up the hill, 93% clogged artery didn't kill you. But if it clogged one little bit more from 93 to 94, that magic point there would kill you though, right? Yes. Okay. There's more to the heart attacks in there. You should read Cosmic Heart, Human Heart by uh, Thomas Cowan. It's great. There's more to that than meets the eye. Just like this crashing dollar stuff. It just it bothers my mind. All right. I got to get out of here. and got to go back to see my wife in Georgia. Got to leave the great state of Virginia. All right. God bless. Love to your thoughts.